bags and purses and stuff like that to put different types of things that you might have, your gunpowder, your ammo, any of the things that you might need to carry with you, your flint and steel. That is the common snapping turtle as he walks around. The long neck turtle, long tail. Any turtle that you guys find that has a long tail, remember, he's given that tail to help you pick him up and carry him, just like that. Show it, demonstrate. Hey, 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 easy, easy. Turn the turtle around slowly. Stone. You have to be careful when you're holding the turtle, because the turtle reaches out and bites anything in front of him. So if he's facing you, you can come up short. Okay? You don't want that to happen. It's not good for the guys to be carrying the turtle like that. <sighs> Got to teach these young guys how to do this stuff. Now, guys, the next turtle we're going to show you guys is a little bit different. This turtle is big mouth, bad breath. Inside of that turtle's mouth right there, it's very, very dark inside of there. It acts like a cave, so that way you cannot see anything in there. But the fish think that it is a cave. And then his small little tongue is a small little pink tongue that he wiggles around inside of his mouth. And that little pink tongue acts like a lure. The fish swim inside of his mouth and grab a hold of his tongue. And when they grab a hold of his tongue, he slams his jaw shut and grabs a hold of him. The snapping turtle bites extremely hard. And Grandma used to say is, if you're going to mess around with a turtle, make sure that you don't mess around with it on a sunny, bright day like today. Wait for a rainy day with lots of thunder, because that snapping turtle won't let go of your finger until thunder rolls. You want to do a trick with him? Do a trick. What oh, kind of trick? I'll stick your finger in his mouth. <laughs> stick my finger in his mouth? What are you, yeah. crazy? Do you guys want to see that? Yeah. Oh, these people are bloodthirsty, man. Oh, yes. All right, have your cameras ready. Let's see what I can do here. Just touch the inside of the mouth? Yeah, that's all. Just touch the inside, okay. Hold on. Come on, Mr. Snapping Turtle. Don't bite. All right, there it is. Touch it. You guys saw that? Oh, good. They saw it. They didn't know. I got to do it again. Oh, you got to be cruel. All right. Let's try this. There's that little tongue right there. Come on, Mr. Snappy. I got four fingers left. Don't take them off. There we go. There's the alligator snapping turtle, and you see how fast those jaws can be. This snare turtle right here, guys, can get up to about 300 pounds in weight. Look out for that other one was sneaking up behind you. He was like... All right, awesome. That keeps the show exciting. Come on. Back up. Back up. If the rest of them comes out, folks, please do not panic, okay? You don't have to run off in fear. All you have to do is trip the person beside you and walk away. Okay? Come on. Go. 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 Ow! Slap you. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You didn't feel anything over there, did you? Nope. I feel a thing. All right. There we go. This is a little Now he's like, I know where the hole is now. I know where the hole is. Go on. Go over that way. Like I said, folks, these fences aren't designed to keep these animals in. It's more to keep you guys out. Don't worry, there's even a smaller fence on the outside to slow them down just a little bit. Now, guys, the next turtle, we've shown you all these turtles that are found here, the alligator snapping turtle, the snap, uh, common snapping turtle. We're going to talk about the alligators a little bit. Let's take out some of the small alligators first. Alligators range in sizes from little tiny guys from when they're babies. Let's start with the babies, bud. Baby, baby, baby. One of these guys ain't a gator, though. Where's Creed at? The little guy right hey, here. Right here. Don't let him go, buddy. Now, he's going to walk around so you guys can see this one. Don't try to touch this one. Just take a look at it. This is a little alligator. He's less than a year old. Okay, less than a year old. Alligators roughly grow about six inches to a foot every single year for the first six years of their life. After the six year period, the growth rate slows down to about an inch to six inches every year until they die. But they never ever stop growing. Alligators will live in captivity about 60 to 100 years old. Where in, in out of the wild, they get to be about 50 to 60, 50 to 70 years. The one that Spud is holding is a caiman. Florida is the only place in the entire world that has both alligators, crocodiles, and caimans. There's no other place in the entire world that has all three different species. The only fourth species is one called the gavielle, and the gavielle is found in India. Strictly a fish eater. Come on, buddy, back up. There you go, back up. Back up. Back up. Yeah, they're all there. Just checking. 
That's four, right? I started with four? Okay, good. Four fingers and a thumb. What are you guys scared about? I'm the one playing with the alligator. I don't know why you guys are jumping. And again, this little one here that Spud has, that is a caiman. And caiman only gets up to about six and a half, seven feet long. They don't get real, real big. Alligators can get up to about uh, 14 to 15 feet for a male, about 12 to 13 for a female. Alligators used to get much, much bigger many, many years ago. The Seminole people, they say alligators, they say halpate. Halpate is the alligator. If it's a big alligator, it's halpate chobi. You guys heard know that word chobi, right, everybody? Actually, the proper way that the Seminoles used to say Lake Okeechobee was oge chobi. Oge meaning water and chobe meaning big.